Hey, hello, and welcome to a new episode of Pearlius Rocket Thing. I don't know, <laughs> since it's not a lock anymore, but here we are, we will go through the gym today. Uh, so, yeah. And do our best. Uh, with this a little bit confusing puzzle as well, uh, which I do not figure out in the beginning here. Uh, this is post uh, commentary, so I hope you do not mind or whatever. So here we go. I can't remember which I had on my team, but I guess we will see soon. She has a dog, uh, dog trio. So that's nice, and we have Nagini, so that's a terrible matchup, uh, but weirdly I don't switch out here. I don't know why I did not switch out here, but well, I think I was thinking that uh, Dog uh, Dog Drio is kind of glass cannon, yeah. Uh, so we almost take it out there, but unfortunately uh, the trainer here is smart and go for earth power. Uh, I don't have a face cam either, so I hope you do not mind or whatever, since it's anyway just the last episodes here. Uh, so yeah, I believe there are three episodes left of this series, so yeah. And she goes down there, so... But Nadini take that uh, Earth Harbor... Well... Oh. I got, I'm just going to take that out of the mouth. That was just uh, just for the throat, uh, tablet just for the throat or whatever, it's cool. Uh, so, well, uh, we go in here, in the next uh, room of this uh, gym. I might as well just put uh, some music as well, maybe some background music. Uh, maybe not po even Pokemon related, like uh, what is it called, Ross... Uh, uh, Bogdan, Bogdan, I don't know. Uh, he has some great uh, royalty-free music, so check him out. That is just a great suggestion. So I thought, yeah, we will just do this as a steal, or a stealing or rocket thing or whatever. So I will still steal Pokemon or whatever. So I decided to actually try to catch this uh, Absol here. Even if it, I knew that it would be very difficult, uh, and it's nice because it has some real nice move like double team, which is great for evasiveness. Uh, so yeah, so claw here or claws, which is on the team now, uh, just go for night slash. So we get it down to about that uh, health point or whatever that down to the red there but I would like to get lower down but unfortunately we do not get anymore and I believe Nagini here has glare so yeah we will go for that but unfortunately uh, or absolute goes for the thing there but uh, yeah uh, what to say I don't know what to say here but eventually anyway Nagini goes down unfortunately uh, I don't know if I... I think I actually boxed the members that die here still. Uh, so then, then we go into Tony and yeah, unfortunately we do not have any paralyzation things here or whatever. So that is pretty terrible, so I believe there were some balls. I don't know if I did cut out anything, maybe I did uh, some of these balls that I used. I guess we will see. So yeah, uh, but I, it's it's very, uh, what you call is, uh, it's like no music right now, so it's very silent. But I will uh, put in music in the end here. So uh, we have used like three balls or something like that. Five, uh, four, five. Yeah, this was really a tricky one. Absol kind of had has lower high uh, 
catch rate. I don't know which is which or whatever. Uh, so eventually we actually catch it with a uh, normal Pokeball. So it works just to switch it out there. And yeah, I name it here. I can't remember what I name it actually. So I guess we will see. And I could not really see there either. Oh uh, yeah, I name it Doom because Absol is really the abs uh, or what's it called uh, this destructure Pokemon. So yeah, so I decided to get Nagini out here, uh, and as well get rid of this Hippodon. I thought it was a shiny Hippodon, but no. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, Hippodon actually looked uh, brown or whatever, but it's actually that gray, gray color, which is kind of weird, but or I kind of the kind of makes sense because the uh, hippo is uh, gray in the real world, whatever to say. Sucker punch, future sight, slash, and double team there, so that's pretty nice, but I. I do not want a sucker punch, I believe, so I bl believe I might have given something else, or maybe I did not, I, I, well, maybe I did later, I guess we will see. Uh, so yeah, we are still here in Sunny Shore City, and we will go to the gym once again. Uh, I don't know what's happened there, I might cut that out, because that was really confusing stuff there. I was just standing at one place. Uh, yeah. So I kind of like this gym, how it looks and such. And that's electric and it's like near the water or whatever. It's kind of interesting uh, to say so. Uh, because it's a little bit like what is called uh, the town in first gen. I can't remember what it's called now. But oh well, uh, so yeah, because uh, that is as well uh, like a harbor town or whatever. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what is it called now? Gen 3 doesn't have one of those. And let's see here. Uh, yeah, and Gen 5 or Gen 6, I mean. Uh, their gym is in a big city, so it's pretty cool with uh, Here the electric gym actually being uh, near to water. I don't know if it, they have think of that or whatever But it's kind of weird because Or I don't know But it might be that they do not have like These what is called water Electric Pokemon, even if they are near water. I mean, you could think of Yasmin's gym like a uh, electric type gym, since she has like uh, Magnemites. I don't know. I believe she doesn't have a Magneton, but mm. so you could count her as maybe as no. She's actually a Steel type, so it's kind of. <laughs> Incorrect to say that she's an electric type user, but she has some uh, Pokemon that uh, are part electric type, so yeah. So here, a, a Lilip could not really do too much, even if it's grassed, and we are not good against that, so I guess I was not really great with the uh, type combo, whatever, here, <laughs> uh, many times here. So here, we meet a Pikachu, which is actually actually a girl or a boy, I actually don't know, yeah, oh it is a girl, Megan, so yes, she has a spoink, uh, kind of annoying in this game, there were so many freaking Pokemon that were not that great, like spoink there, that were really weak, like seal as well here, so it was re this gym was actually real not to challenge, uh, so yeah, we could have, uh, or we, if we could have taken the gym first, we would probably not even have gotten uh, a any level up moves. So yeah, I I don't know if if you see this and have not seen the series so far, uh, I did a, a rocket lock challenge 
or rock yeah rocket lock challenge in this game and we lost in the last episode so so spoiler alert there I guess uh, so yeah uh, so now I'm just doing a rocket thing or whatever I I steal Pokemon steal from trainers but I I do not uh, play this as a Nuzlocke or whatever because I just wanted to finish this game because I only finish Pearl once and that is when I had my older channel uh, on my this YouTube what you call this uh, uh, yeah my other which was the thief lock <laughs> which is kind of weird that they both were <laughs> Like rocket lock and a thief lock there, uh, so yeah, there I did not finish that because uh, I got robbed and uh, as well I could not use my computer and all files went away. So yeah, uh, now you know that as well, <laughs> and I, I got the press there as well. So yeah, that was uh, why that series couldn't continue, and I. Did not feel like when we had get pretty far in that game. I believe we were at fur. No, we were actually at the fourth gym there, so that was pretty bad. But oh well. <sighs> or actually, spoiler alert. Whatever. <laughs> Again, a spoiler alert here is that we m might not. Me not. I. I I don't want to spoil too much, but we may not even finish this game. Uh, I guess you will see in the end how it turns out. I will not say too much more, not to spoil it too much here. Uh, but as you can see, uh, my absolute there went down, so that was a little bit bad. I believe we have done all the rooms here. So next up, I believe the gym leader is uh, what's called a Walkner, I believe. It's so weird because I, when I talked about him in the last episode or whatever it was, uh, I was thinking Faulkner, but he is actually Warkner. So here we meet Jasmine, but she was she will actually not give us the uh, HM we need because she says that uh, we need to have the gym badge first. So. Yeah, we will talk to her uh, later again, actually. So this is kind of unfortunate there. Uh, I believe in the... When I, I recorded this, uh, the audio and uh, face cam cut off, which was quite annoying. And you will see that in the next episode as well, that the face cam cut off. So kind of annoying. Uh, when I'm doing uh, my next uh, face cam series, I will try to have a USB that works better and maybe as well a face cam that works better. I have a Logitech that is pretty good but uh, I want to have something that works all the time. I don't know. It's kind of annoying when it cuts out so yeah I just uh, added uh, that before and we got up here to Walkner because it it did take so freaking long time to figure out the puzzle here, so yeah. Alright, Challenger. Right, Challenger. It's not often, but some trainers managed to come and challenge me. Uh, but they have been boring battles. I do not break a sweat beating them. Sight on Volkner. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, his uh, voice first was a little bit like Crash Awake, or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, so here we have Amphros. Oh my god, oh, I would love if they remaked actually Pearl, even if I hate uh, for Yen, I would love a remake for like Faulkner to have a mega uh, Amphros or something like that, or a mega. Luxray. Uh, he would probably have a mega Luxray. I don't know why I went for the Stealth or the Stone Edge here. That was kind of surprising. 
Maybe I was thinking that he would switch out. I, I, I just don't know why I did that. But oh well. Or it could be that we do not even have Earthquake here. Uh, I really don't know. But Tony, Tony is great. I, I feel like Raiden looks a little bit Italian or whatever. He looks a little bit uh, gangster or whatever. It's no wonder why I believe Giovanni has a Raiden in... Uh, Yellow, maybe? Or red and blue? I don't know. I guess we will see because... Or I probably have said it, but spoiler alert again. Many spoiler alerts here. Uh, I will do a co-op with my boyfriend UPF1 uh, on uh, red and blue. Uh, so yeah. And as well, the series after this will be a yellow series. So, yeah. A little bit nostalgic there. So that's pretty fun to do more nostalgic stuff. And I know Nostalgic Friday hasn't come up, uh, out so far. So that's pretty bad. But I have still not find a ROM for uh, GoldenEye. But I will try to find it. Else we will do some other game. Maybe Super Mario or something. Uh, Super Mario Kart or something like that. I guess we will. I will just. Sh I will see what uh, I can work out. So, yeah, I decide to stay in here because I'm thinking that this wheezing anyway will do a explosion, and I'm right. So, yeah, it doesn't really uh, matter there since. Uh, uh, Tony was actually about to go down anyway, so yeah. Uh, so that is nice. Uh, Doom gets some le uh, or some uh, experience there, which is real nice. Uh, so now I believe, yeah, I was thinking here what to switch into. I switch into Claw, even if he could get the Emperors out here. But he actually takes in the God of War, so that's nice. Uh, this is not fair in this game, so that's real nice but unfortunately it switches here into his Ampharos. This was kind of cool that he still had the electric type even if it was not a uh, Luxray which he usually ha uh, usually have. Oh my god I cannot even speak today. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit sick so I don't know if you can hear it but my voice is a little bit bad so yeah. So Ampharos uh, does not do too much there. Uh, Thunder Punch does a whole lot against Claw, but he still lives that. My god, Claw is a beast. But unfortunately, Walkner is a... Uh, it's a little bit of a chicken here, and he <laughs> goes for the uh, healing, so yeah. Uh, we get another Night Slash. And it is a crit, but unfortunately it doesn't take out, and as well we get Static, of course. Uh, the game cannot just be nice and just take out that Amphro, so unfortunately Claw will go down as well. Or I believe actually I, I did not box everyone now, since I've seen some going down here and such. And I did not really care about this, so now we bring out Doom to just one-shot this Amphro's. He probably doesn't even have any healing items, so I just go for the Slash here. Hoping of uh, super effective crit maybe, but or not the super effective crit. We cannot even get the super effective crit, but uh, a crit. Uh, so yeah, so many uh, fun stuff to look forward uh, on my channel. So I'm sorry for not talking about the bells or whatever. I don't know why I switched here actually. I think I did it just to annoy the crap out of this uh, God of War, so he cannot even hit us. So here is Jay, the skunk tank. I could not figure out another name for him, <laughs> actually. Uh, so I just went for Jay in, uh, I believe is black. Uh, what's it called? Men in Black. He's called Jay. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, I like Skunk Tech. He's kind of cool, like what is he called now? Uh, Will Smith. So yeah, it was kind of a fitting name still. And uh, Skunk Tech Tank is a little bit underrated, or whatever. 
And I don't know if Will Smith ever has won an Oscar. I believe he have not won an Oscar, so... Yeah, I, I'm not saying that all these movies he's been in have been great, but still... Uh, I feel like he is a good actor, so... Yeah. Uh, After Earth, of course, was pretty bad. Even if I was uh, checking it, and then I first thought it was good, but then when I was thinking a little bit, I I just no, it was terrible. Uh, so yeah, and Independent Day has not been uh, was not great either. So yeah, but he has done some good moves as well. But I can't, or actually, what is it called legend, legend. I'm a legend, I believe, or something like that. Uh, and another movie, I believe, uh, with uh, aliens or whatever, when he's just alone and have a dog. That movie is pretty good. Uh, and of course, Men in Black is pretty... Or it's not like super good Men in Black, but it's kind of a nice guilty pleasure or whatever. Uh, I have actually not looked at... Uh, I checked the third, but... The first movie is really good, the second movie is meh, and not like super great. So here we have Jasmine, uh, this city uh, makes me feel uh, home somehow. I don't know why she has a girl always. Next to the city, uh, oh, that's the town's gym badge. You are very good, indeed. And now the, the freaking... Uh, my freaking screen went just black, so that was annoying. So yeah, I don't know why I did her Italian, but uh, I I wanted to give her a more of a rough voice since Yasmin is kind of a cool girl. I mean, she has the dress and all, but steel types is kind of menacing or whatever. So yeah, I wanted to give her a pretty cool voice. A little bit like what is she called? Ah, I can't remember what is she called, but the fairy gym leader in uh, X and Y. She is kind of as well, pretty bad uh, as or yeah, pretty cool. Uh, but she uses uh, <laughs> she is the other way around or whatever to say. Uh, or I don't know, but she uses a uh, fairy Pokemon that is like cute and all, and she looks like... Okay, she looks a little bit cute, but uh, still she looks menacing with the, her dark hair and her like mascara. So, <laughs> I actually like those two. That's, uh, that's probably my, maybe my, f or no, Flannery is one of my favorite uh, female Yimmy leaders, so... Yeah, feel free to tell me. I don't have Q or question of the video, but still feel free to tell me which is your favorite uh, female gym leader, because I I like those three. This is someone else that I like. Uh, I'm thinking in this gym or this gen. Uh, Gardenia is pretty cool as well, or it is pretty fun at least with her Evasar. Uh, so yeah, mm, I'm thinking if it is anyone else. Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing here, or we will actually do a montage, I believe, here as well. Uh, but it's kind of, oh, uh, now I forget. Yeah, uh, Candice, it's kind of weird that Candice is a ice type, she should be a fighting type, but oh well. Uh, yeah, we will end off here, and it actually will be a montage going through uh, this route before uh, Victory Road. So yeah, feel f uh, have a good tea and a good coffee day, and we see see you soon again. <laughs>